Hi, this is Helen. I'm going to show you how to set up a session using Zoom for a web conferencing meeting, for teaching a class, for office hours, however you would like to use it at the University of Minnesota. What you do is you go to umn.zoom.us and click to log in. You will then be asked to sign in to your University of Minnesota account. So once you sign in, it takes you to your Zoom meetings. You will see that I have four recurring meetings so far. One for each section of a class that I'm teaching. This is a meeting that I host every other week. And then for my office hours. To set up a recurring meeting, what you do is click on schedule a new meeting then you give it a name so for example if I was teaching a class Eduke 5415 and I want to set up a recurring meeting so that I can use this every week for class students have the same URL if they want to join class online or if you have a meeting that you want people to always go to the same URL what you should do is ignore all of this here and you want to select, make sure that you select recurring meeting. But under recurrence, click on the little arrow there and say no fixed time. Once you do that, what you've got is a recurring meeting at no fixed time. So you can use the same URL whenever you like for the same group of people. And then you can select the options that you want. I like to give participants the option to be able to use video and also to be able to join by telephone or their computer audio. The, you may choose a password if you want to. I don't usually because it's the URL for a specific group. I don't give the URL out to anyone else and so I don't require a password. I like to enable join before host in case the students or my colleagues get there before I do and they can then go into the room. So just to review, you give it a name, recurring meeting, no fixed time, host video on, participant video on, telephone and computer audio, enable join before host. And also it's a good idea to mute participants upon entry so that they don't make a noise and not realize they're making a noise. So they can turn their, their mic on when they want to, rather than by default having it be on. Then you click Save. Once you do that, it gives you the details for this meeting. And there is the URL for the meeting. I recommend that you copy that, and then you put that into um, an email or Canvas or wherever you want to share the URL with the participants. Now, when you want to find that URL and you want to start the meeting, if you go to your meetings, this is what happens when you log into Zoom, you will see now that it's actually listed there. So say I want to open this meeting, I would come to my meetings, click on the link to it, and then I would click Start this meeting. And it will launch the Zoom tool, and there I am, ready to go for the meeting. All right, I hope that helps.